Hey Gemini, this is Moon Pie Tarot doing your next 10 days love reading for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, Arenas. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. You guys can also join my channel now. Um, I had it up last week and um, I added a lower price perk. Um, so it's $9.99 for the entire month. You can pop in the live stream chats with me and I'll pull tarot cards for you. Um, all you have to do is just keep an eye on the community tab. Um, this is members only, okay? So you'll have access to personal readings um, that no one else will, okay? Um, so yeah, there's a link below the video. You can check that out there if you are interested. Um, and also to get actual personal readings or follow me on Instagram, the links are below. You can also purchase my... Uh, Moon Pie Tarot Oracle cards. All right, enough about that. Okay, let's get started. This is going to be for the next 10 days. So from the time that you click on the video, Gemini, 10 days going forward, we're going to take a look at your person's present energy and then their future energy. Okay, we do have Leo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Taurus showing up. Okay, for those of you who that may resonate otherwise we're just gonna look at the energies here no court cards so no kings and queens um, so that's interesting all right let's take a look here and see what the romance angels overall messages are here for you Gemini Gemini love messages okay Ooh, the situation involves marriage somebody's getting married are you thinking about getting married? Is your person thinking about it? Do you both know? Are you like completely single, but you might be meeting someone and this situation could be involving marriage? And trust, the situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, look, both of these words on here, this situation, the, you, some of you are in a situation ship, okay? And you're just like, what the heck's going on? What is this? What are we in? What is this thing? Well, you can trust that this is going to turn into full-blown union here. Okay, wedding. Um, well, you know, I know a lot, I'm speaking to a lot of people and you all have different views on marriage. Some of you are viewing holy marriage. Some of you are like just going to go to the courthouse. Some of you are just going to exchange rings and be married spiritually, whatever it might be, however you want to call it. Um, there's some type of a wedding, a ceremony, I see, going forward, okay? Um, I feel like your person, if you've been in a situation, well, somebody here is getting struck by Cupid's arrow, okay? Whatever the, and if it's not just a situation, you've just been dating or living together, you just did a thing here, whatever it might be, I feel like for some of you, there's two people here with a love child. <laughs> some of you might be getting married because of a love child as well <laughs> that you've created. All right. Um, it's so funny. I've, I've been looking at these cards for years, and it's the first th time I've ever seen. Look at how he's holding that, that wand there. And he's like trying to tell Cupid there, that love child, settle down right now. Uh, I'm with my lady. Settle down. <laughs> Don't be distracting me with those Cupid's arrows there. <laughs> so um, trust and faith is being called for here, Gemini. I feel like your person, like you guys can trust each other. I feel like it's like you just have to have faith. Look, chemistry is a strong magnetic attraction here. I mean, this has already been established between the two of you. That's why you're still in it. You know, even if you're like in it, and it feels like you're not in it because for some of you it is a situation ship. It it feels like there's more to it. Definitely. Okay. Your love life is being affected by children. Some of you might have a child or children connected to this. Or you just both feel like children when your the chemistry is so good, like you both feel like you play well together, you have fun together. Okay. So <laughs> I mean, I think that's lovely. Let's take a look at your person. All right. Hmm. Your person presently, okay, for some, 
All right, let me give you the messages as I get them, okay? Your person is surrendering to the fact that they are absolutely obsessed with you and they don't want to be with anybody else. Like, you are it for them. It's almost addictive. You are almost, like, addictive. I'm just hearing that pink song. Um, like a drug. Now, I know that doesn't sound very healthy. There might be, there might be a little toxic. It's very very codependy okay um but i feel like that's something that can be healed of course you know because the star card is here um but i just feel like your person they're they're in a very supine position here your person gemini will do anything for you okay this person no matter how much hurt this person takes a lot of a lot of shots, okay, it might be medical shots, maybe they, they take needles, or they have to take needles or something all the time, maybe there's like a, an issue where they have to get needles all the time, you know, um, there's, there's an element also here of surrendering to some kind of addiction, okay, hitting rock bottom with some kind of addiction and healing, okay, um, your person, there could be something going on here with some type of surgery that they have to have or something and you know they really need you by them by their side because they're scared okay um and that might be showing up there might be some communication they might give to you presently like you know now or, and like you might get a message from them telling them you know they're they're excited to have this surgery but at the same time they're kind of like oh can you can you come and if you're in a situation ship with this person like it's or friends with benefits and you're like for real um they, that's how much you mean to them that's what i'm picking up gemini now for others you know i just feel like this person will do anything for you they are obsessed they want to be with you there's a very strong physical attraction like that chemistry is off the charts this person's attraction to you, they find you like completely irresistible. Um, and there's an element here of like, this person comes in with like a broken heart. It's like, they, they always get, their, they're very sensitive, the heart's very sensitive, and they, it seems like, but they keep the faith, like no matter, no matter how much they get their heart broken or how many times or whatever arguments like if there's an argument or there's they just want to please you and they just want to do right by you it seems like like this person you know they want to be with you they want to like come into union with you there's absolutely no doubt here i feel like no matter if you guys get in arguments or you fight like no matter how many times the things your words sometimes no matter what you say or what you do this person will take the hit but still not never give up on you still not give up on you they stay remain hopeful they try to renew the, the hurt or the heart or any type of arguments they want to heal it i'm going to take a look at this devil look here's the star again see they're very hopeful about you I don't see anybody, this person, they don't want to give up on you. That's it. It's Aquarius energy again. The star twice in their present. That's a double um, message there. They have a lot of hope. Like they believe in you. They believe that your connection is like a miracle. In a lot of ways, um, this person... I don't know that they intended for it to go that way. I think it just came to be through your, you know, interaction interaction with one another. Let's take a look at this star card here. Look, the sun talking about the star. This person's just so incredible. They're very positive, very positive attitude about you and your relationship. Like there's nothing negative. You know, they just have, they just come from this, like the light is constantly shining. There's warmth, there's happiness, there's joy. Even when we have setbacks, even when we have arguments, even when they feel defeated or they feel like you've said things that hurt them, they're just like, yeah, okay, but I still love you and I still believe in you and I want to be with you. And, you know, I don't, I know that, you know, it's not always easy. If, especially if there's children or a child involved, whatever, I, I know, but they have, a, there's an innocence to this person, okay, we have the king of cups here, I wasn't really clarifying that, 
but um, anything in particular, but we're putting it on the page of wands. So King of Cups energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Um, this person comes forward with this very emotional, loving, supportive, tolerant, empathetic energy. Okay. Um, this person is very nurturing and healing and that's, that's who they are. This is who they are for you. And they want to give you that support and that love. They a hundred percent believe in you and believe in you both in this connection. I know you're like, but we were just friends with benefits. Where's this coming from? Or we were just talking or we were just said nothing serious. Or some of you are like, are you kidding? Like, I know you're kind of a little bit maybe in shock. Okay. Um, so going forward, we have the King of Wands with strength. I kind of feel like this person, you guys are going to be, so that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You guys are going to be um, sneaking away to elope or get married, definitely. Or, or, or there's a planning of it behind the scenes, planning a wedding behind the scenes, not letting, not letting somebody know here. Okay. This King of Wands, this could be anywhere, anybody, but this King of Wands is like very bold, you know, like it sits in a position of power. I don't know who that is. That could be somebody you're connected with or, um, or this, your person just, you know, it's like takes the lead in this connection. And, you know, because I have this seven of swords here sitting in between strength and the Hierophant. So there's an energy here of like, with strength, you know, it just feels like a, it's a lot of courage. It's going to take a lot of courage. Just doing something, something behind the scenes. Um, maybe a small kind of wedding or something where there's like just you and your person in front of like whomever, whoever officiates. Let me just see. Oh yeah, see? The high priestess with the hierophant it's kind of done in secret you know these two go together okay so there's definitely a strong spiritual match between the two of you and the high priestess is the cancer energy i believe it's cancer virgo or pisces but i feel like there's like um i don't know something behind the scenes like running away to get married there's a runaway to get married. That's what I hear. I just heard that song, that very old Bon Jovi song. Oh, she's a little runaway. Daddy's girl. Run okay. This might be somebody's, I, I feel like I'm talking to teenagers. This might be somebody's father or someone. Is this forbidden? Is this, is there opposition to this for some of you? Opposition? possibly may not be young love but it could very well be like um there's two kings cancer scorpio pisces aries leo sagittarius so i'm not sure who your person is but there is an element of sneaking away for sure all right so but i feel like your person they're okay with that like you know, if that's what, something that you want to do or you have to do um, or if something, it feels like mostly like they would be willing to do whatever it takes. If you want to do something privately or something quietly, um, you know, to have like a wedding or something, they're okay with that. They're like, whatever you want, that this person is like standing in their a position of power, you know, um, they've just got nothing but power and strength and love for you nothing but and if you if you want something to be done you know without i just get this sense of without letting someone know or some people know and i don't know why and i don't know who that would be um well, let me just pull a clarifying card for the seven of swords what's going on here <laughs> the emperor 
Okay. It could be somebody's father. Mm, I was feeling that. Definitely. That's Aries energy. Um, or sneaking away from work. Um, it just, I have to say this, and I don't know if it's going to resonate for everyone. It could just be making these plans in secret about a wedding, not telling anybody mostly, hiding some, hiding that information from people who are in authority or a person who is in authority. All right, I'm spending way too much time on this because like I want to know why. <laughs> like I want to know what's going on. Maybe this is a forbidden or somebody would for, forbid, forbade it. Okay, some family members or two friends or whatever. Wow, of course, when I'm saying that, Spirit's like, oh, by the way, here's five wands. Um, hello, challenges, obstacles, rivalry. Yep, there is an energy. There's some people. There's like a little bit of drama. That might be something to do with it. So the six of pentacles. Okay. And the eight of pentacles. What's going on here? Okay, um, there will be some invites to go to this secretive or help plan this by two people, one person inviting two more people or uh, asking for help to pay for something. It's a small secretive kind of thing happening here. There's not enough money to pay for something and your person's going to try to seek to try to get some help. Um, I don't really feel like they want to, though. I feel like they want to try to do this themselves. Like, they want to be able to provide for you um, or to, like, bring up their end to help. Um, give you something very wonderful. I just, you know, I just feel like there's an element of needing to hide something from uh, other people. But I definitely feel like you and your person may be, like, sneaking away or going somewhere and, you know, secretly tying the knot somewhere, coming back and perhaps telling a few people, but really just keeping it hush hush. And I don't necessarily feel like it feels like it's what you both want. Um, maybe hiding it from a father or maybe an ex or something. I feel like it's what you both want. Like there's this person definitely wants to be with you i see that let's take a look and see there i wish things could be different yeah so there's an element here of like gosh i wish we could just do stuff out in the open or i wish we could just bring it all in front of but right now there's something going on where it can't be done maybe they have an ex or you do or there's family members or there's drama you speak to me through music okay so I don't know how that's going to resonate for someone here. Spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. That's lovely. Retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. That's what I feel like is happening here. You guys are like, I don't know, you're going, you're both taking some time together or alone. Lean on your inner circle during this time. So I do feel like there is a small group or a small inner circle of people who support you and this relationship. And it feels like you're being asked to lean on those people because not everyone is going to approve of this fate. This is a destined partnership. And Twin Flame, this is your divine counterpart, 100%. Uh, maybe because you guys have had some struggles and twin flame relationships are, we don't always sign up for those. And if we do, we, we're out of our minds. But maybe you and your person were just brought together and then stuff happened. And then there's this chemistry and this spark and this thing that you both are magical to each other and can't stay away from each other because it's magnetic. But there's been trouble and there's been, you know, 
some chaos and some people haven't approved of the way their relationship was or the way maybe even the way you choose to come into union there might be some pushback from that but it's like you both know that you are meant to be together passion try something you've never done before <laughs> I have somebody going to Vegas. Vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person. I remember every detail of that day. So your person, I don't know what day that is, but whatever special day you guys have had together, um, it's like constantly on their mind. Okay, you have boundaries, firm boundaries are needed now. And I feel like that's in connection with this five of wands. Like whoever these wherever the challenges may be coming from out externally or whatever challenges you face it seems like you both need to have your boundaries up um, in order to keep living having the love that the life you want to have together i replay our conversations over and over okay this person always always listening to your voicemails i lost myself for a little while okay there might have been some confusion in your person um maybe holding back um not pursuing or just keeping you waiting but here and now your true love is already part of your life and i feel like this person has realized and they've come to terms like what we have what we are and all that we will ever be is right here and right now isn't that a song here and now i feel like your person no matter what other people say or do you're it for them okay so we have the lock this is padlock all right so you guys are definitely keeping certain people out of your your inner circle you're locking them out because there's some people that you guys are just like um, you're not so sure huh. now we have jesus on the cross okay um so there might be some religious differences as well okay somebody might be like maybe you guys are christians or catholics um well when jesus is on the cross this is catholic so there could be something to do with like catholic differences or whatever it might be um but even if jesus wasn't on the cross it would still be christianity so there could be like you guys could be of different religious upbringing um somebody might be having a say about that um there might be like no i want people are just giving their opinions of how you guys should go about your union um you might be of one faith and they might be of another and you guys the challenges are to work through those and figure out what you're gonna do i just know that you both want to be together and i know that you both want to like have a lifetime together in union oh look now we have the um okay yeah so there's definitely some spiritual differences and the key needs to be found to unlock that um those spiritual differences so that you guys can come together um you might be from like different parts of the world as well some of you Now we have a lotus. We have a lot of like, okay, we might be looking at Asia, uh, areas of, uh, you know, Eurasia. I don't even know if that's still like the Middle East, some stuff. We've got Christianity. We've got like all over the world, you know. Um, some of you might be trying to figure out like if you have this this wedding or this union, where you're going to do it, how you're going to do it. Like what are your core principles? What are your beliefs? You know, you might have a lot of people from different faith, faiths kicking in. I can't believe we have all that. Some of you, um, like it's, I, I just heard, tell them in about three months time, there's going to be a marriage or a wedding, just a wedding of some sort. Some of you are going to have like, I just saw like a swimming pool and putting lily, lily pads or little lotus flowers with candles in them. <laughs> here's a violin there's going to be music violin music I, i'm feeling like a blend um like a very romantic spiritual kind of 
like wedding, it was a celebration. And just lots of violins. Or someone here plays the violin or the cello. Okay. All right, we have oh, we have a um, Taurus energy here for sure. Some of you are definitely connecting or this your person's a Taurus, but um that just given they're giving me like Nevada, Arizona with that Texas something to do with that those areas or down south there's I'm, I'm picking up Australia maybe even like the warm dry deserty areas will be very significant where there's like skulls <laughs> where there's skull bones animal skull bones I don't know um there's some like some area around there um you're connecting to in one way or another um, or this reading is for you in regards to those places. I just want to get one more. What's this? Oh, we've got Pegasus. For real? Okay. Pegasus. Is there a casino or something in Las Vegas called the Pegasus? Or was there? I don't know if that's going to resonate for you, but something to do with Pegasus. Could be a tattoo or you've got like, I don't know, something. These are very spiritual things happening here. So I'm going to leave you reading there, Gemini. I hope that you enjoyed that. And please do hit like, share, and subscribe on your way out. And thank you for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye.